the sins out of your life. Wash your inside out. Make you repent. Make you change. Make you lift your hands to the Lord. How long has it been since you said, the world behind me and the cross before me? Amen. I, 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 we used to, when I was a boy, we'd say, dare you. Then so much, I double dog dare you. That double dog got you. You can dare me, but don't double dog me. Well, let me say, I'm going to say, I double dog dare you right now to just get in your uh, in your surrender to God here yes. tonight. And whatever you need from God or anything, you say, the world behind me and the cross before me. And make your stand tonight. Give yourself over to God. Surrender to God. Change your life forever, ever. Praise the name of the Lord. You young people, now put those cell phones away and put all that junk away and put all that stuff away and put all that texting away and put all that, amen. Uh, put it all away. Stop it. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Put that chewing gum away. Put all that candy away. Amen. Amen. Put all those toys away. Amen. Put everything away tonight. Let the Holy Ghost come in. Praise the name of the Lord. You and the Holy Ghost and candy don't get along. Amen. You and chewing gum and, 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 and the Holy Ghost doesn't get along. Get it all, get all that junk out of the church. Leave the Gatorade outside. Praise the name of the Lord. You don't need Gatorade in here. You just need the Holy Ghost in here. God loves you and I love you and God loves you and you older ones set the example. Don't hand them a bag of candy when they come in church. Hand them the Holy Ghost. Amen. Don't hand them chewing gum when they come in church. Hand them the Holy Ghost. Cut the cell phones off. Get rid of the texting. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Let's call on Jesus tonight. Connected up to your cell phone. I hear that six days a week. My phone goes big, 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 big six days a week. I don't want to listen to your cell phone. I want to, I want you to get connected up with God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You don't need to text it on that. Hello, God, I love you. You don't want to need to up. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me tell you something. All you need is to get a message from God tonight. All the church needs is a message from God. Amen. A message from God. The Holy Ghost coming. Somebody lift your hand up. Somebody praise him. Somebody surrender to him right now. Praise the name of the Lord. You can't cure your troubles with the world. You can't figure it out. You can't uh, answer your questions. The psychologist can't do it for you. Amen. There's only one that can heal you. There's only one that can deliver you. There's only one that can lift the church up. There's only one that can bring the body of Christ back together again. There's only one that can heal creatures, heal the church, heal the people of God. And that's Jesus. That's Jesus. Say his name tonight. seated for a minute, but that's all. That's all. Amen. You're not going to be a sit-down church tonight, by the way. If you come in here to sit down, change your mind. Praise the name of the Lord. Because the Holy Ghost wants to get you out of that chair. Holy Ghost wants to wash you. Holy Ghost wants to cleanse you. Holy Ghost wants to separate you. Holy Ghost wants to give you a new life. It is not the dying church I am preaching. I am preaching a living Christ for a dying world. Praise the name of the Lord. It is not the, uh, the it is not the church that is dying. You get in the church. You get up to your neck in it. You get involved in it. You get overwhelmed with it. You get overcome by it. You put in the church more than you put in life. And God will add to you and change your life and change your direction. Amen. 
Hallelujah. 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 Almost the only message I ever preached, I've never I've reached the river because I have my good friend and brother here. He's been watching us on the internet all the way out in Humboldt, Texas, in Houston. Yes. And uh, he's one of the saints of God in the Houston area there. Uh, coming through the uh, work in the lineage of Brother Patton, right? Brother Clyde Patton laboring in that area there many years. And Brother Fred Nelson has been watching us on the internet and he came to see us in person tonight. Yeah, yeah. Amen. All the way from Humble, Houston, Texas. Let's welcome Brother Fred Nelson back here. Yeah. Brother Marlowe, it looks so different when you're here than when you're on the internet. Yes, he said, I've been watching the internet, but it's so different yes, when you're here. Yes. Praise the name yes. of the Lord. Yes. I've known him many years, and I've loved him, and he heard me preach many years ago, and uh, we're so glad. And I, I just want you to be at home, Brother Fred, and, and let the Lord bless you, and let the Lord do what he will with you. You know, uh, you're at home in this place, and uh, I mean that. I don't mean you're at home. I just to sit here and, and, and feel restricted. But I want you to feel the presence of the Lord oh, tonight, yes. warming you, encouraging you, and letting you know that the Bradenton Church is alive and well, that we love God, and we love his people, and we love the body of Christ, we love the family of God, and we're expecting this to be a greater and a greater church. Yes. Praise the name of yes. the Lord. Amen. We're not looking back, we're looking forward. Amen. We're not like one of those three unclean spirits like frogs in the book of Revelation. Amen. They were looking back because a frog can only see back. He can't see ahead. His eyes look backward instead of forward. And there were three of those fellows in the book of Revelation in the beast, the false prophet, and the dragon. Well, I thank God I can identify the beast. I know where he is. I can identify the false prophet. I know where he is. And I know uh, where the dragon is. And I don't have a spirit like that. I'm not looking back tonight. I'm looking ahead. Amen. My vision is forward. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because Jesus is before me. Yes. I said Jesus is before me. Yes. Looking unto Jesus. Yes. Looking unto Jesus. Yes. Hebrews 12 and 1 and 2. Yes. Looking unto Jesus. Yes. The author and the finisher of our faith. Praise the name of the Lord. Doesn't matter what's back of me, I've got somebody to look forward to. Doesn't matter what happened 30 minutes ago, forget it, leave it, walk away from it. I've got somebody to look forward to. Jesus, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. That's quite a different uh, package, isn't it? And looking to Washington, they're not going to help you too much, especially right now. Looking to a false religion, that won't help you. Looking unto the world, why it fizzles out. How long does it take when you open a, uh, a can of Coke or a bottle of Coke uh, for the fizz to go out? How long is it before it's flat? Leave the cap on from it. How long is it before it's flat? No, 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 that all that intensity is gone. All that fizz is gone. Uh, and that's how the world is. The fizz goes out real quick out of sin's enticement, out of sin's possibilities. Whatever sin can offer you, it's only a fizz for a moment. That's all it is. It will go out in a minute. So you better enjoy the fizz because it's going to be gone in a few seconds. But Jesus Christ is not a fizz. He's not a failure. He's not a fluke. No. Praise the name of the Lord. He is a reality. Yes, he is. Jesus Christ is in the morning, at noon, at night, Amen. even at midnight. Yes. He'll be there. All the time. I've even had him at 2 o'clock in the morning. All the time. I don't think he ever sets his clock. No. I think he's always there. Amen. Praise the name Lord. of the Lord. Amen. He's Jesus at all times. Yes. He's the one that I serve oh. and I worship. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of God. So I really welcome God's people tonight. I welcome Brother Fred coming 
and deep with us, making these long miles. Uh, I don't know all the circumstances that led him here, but I do know that he's here by God's will. And I appreciate it. And I want to thank the Lord for one more thousand given. Praise the name of the Lord. I say praise the Lord. And thank you, Lord, for that. Praise our God. Uh, I know God is dealing with his people and talking to you about doing what he wants you to do. And I know that you will do it. But I do appreciate tonight the fact that we are looking forward and we're stretching out. Let me give you this little thought before I sit back. I want the brethren to preach here tonight. I want the saints to sing. Yes. I want us to have church in the old-fashioned way. <coughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Bless him, now, we can't bring the sawdust back in, and we can't bring the old cottonwood benches back in, and we can't bring the pallets where they laid the children. We've all we've substituted a modern nursery for that. And uh, we have AC to make it... And that doesn't make people happy uh, because the AC never gets everybody adjusted right. Some people are too hot, some people are too cold. Uh, we have a uh, $20,000 sound system. It doesn't do and make everybody happy. But we've got a wonderful operator back there. And Brother Tracy, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Back in that sound booth. Hello, Brother Tracy. Get all that sound booth next come up here. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Get him out of there. Praise our God. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Come on, Brother Tracy. Come on, let's give him a great big hand and say how much we love him and appreciate him. the hours he sits there. I appreciate the frowns he gets and, uh, uh, you know, turn it up, turn it down. Too mild, too soft. I appreciate this man. Praise the name of the Lord. He's on the frying pan. He's in the frying pan back there. It's difficult. To, how many knows you can't please a human being? How many knows that? Amen. The steak is too rare. The steak is too tender. The steak is too tough. You can never Please, a human being, the chicken was bad, if the chicken was good, the rice was tough. Amen. You can never please a human being. But I thank God because this man has labored there for many years. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen, 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 amen. Did you know I believe the church ought to be the place where people appreciate one another? the church ought to be the place. <laughs> Come on. I'm about to get happy here. I'm about to get excited. Praise the name of the Lord. The church ought not to be the place where the grumblers are and the gripers are. It ought to be the place where people shout because they're saved. They're redeemed. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The little church, the small church, has always been and will always be. Don't get confused by the mega church. The church Jesus builds is whatever sign he wants it to be. And the Bible said where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. independence tonight. I am free from sin. I have been made free from the devil. I am free from darkness. I am free from despair. I am at liberty tonight. Amen. Everybody celebrate your liberty. Everybody celebrate your liberty. My country's flag is red, white, and blue. But God has red, white, and blue in the cross. He had the blood that was red. He had the purity of the white in Jesus Christ. Amen. He had the blue of loyalty in Christ who never failed. America's flag came after the cross. The cross was first. Amen. I serve the red, white, and blue.
blue of my country. I serve the red, white, and blue of the cross. Amen. Amen. I am set free tonight. I'm having a good time. I don't know about you. I'm in church. Praise God. I've got the Holy Ghost on me right now. I feel God around me. I'm feeling my arthritis, neuritis, long leg, stiff legs, stiff arches. Amen. And listen, you get your hands up right now. You stop thinking about Peter Bird and all that stuff. Praise the name of the Lord. And start thinking about the cross. And you'll get happy in here. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost will come down on you. Holy Ghost will touch you. Amen. Amen. I, you know, I've watched the church. I've watched the church get away from letting go and letting God have his way. We're too dignified. We, we got too much dignity here. We said, well, I can't do that. Why don't you just say, I can do it? Come on. Shout like a Pentecost. Dance like a Pentecost. Clap your hands like a Pentecost. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the Holy Ghost come in. Hallelujah. How many have been born again? How many have been born again? Then we can't bring the sawdust in. Can't bring the mothers with their children on pallets again on the floor. All that stuff we used to be. But we can bring Christ back in the center of the church. Amen. Come on, you need him. You need him right now. We ought to put it to hands down in the hall. Go ahead. Praise God. Amen. I got that for you. Ronnie, praise the name of the Lord. The Holy Ghost come down on me. Praise the name of the Lord. Do you need him tonight? I want to know if you need him tonight. If you need him, put your hands up and say, I need you right now. I need you right now. I need you to come in. I need you to fill me. I need you to heal me. while I take a break. Praise the Lord. Hebrews, the uh, firstborn, 
Sunday because she had just come home from the hospital and I said, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to go back to Fort Lauderdale go to work. I'm going to stay here because everything's closed up and the Lord gave me a dream. I'd just fallen asleep on the floor and he showed me the uh, brains and lake of mercury down here. And he said, go. That was Sunday night, 11 o'clock. And I woke up and I said, Sabrina, I know what to do tomorrow. Said, you do? Well, good. And I drove over here and I went over to Lincoln Mercury and they hired me on the spot. Yeah. And they said, well, if you want a better paying job, go to the Ford dealership. So I went to the Ford dealership and got a better paying job. The first year. And I came here 10 o'clock in the morning. The office used to be over here in the front. And I walked in the door and Brother Marlowe was sitting there looking at the classifieds. And I hadn't talked to Brother Marlowe in over a week. And he said, I think I found you in an apartment. He had no clue that I was coming over or anything like that. And, uh, All right. So, should I leave? Should I let little things bother me? My God. Should I let what people think of me? Come on. My God. All right. Come on. Should I let the world yeah, yeah, yeah. give me away? All God right. gives you a dream. And God shows you so plainly. When I pack my bags, just like everybody else, I've had my bags packed. When my mother passed away, I had an easy street up north. I could have gone. But I made a decision. I made a commitment. Yes. So, Lord, you didn't give me another dream. <laughs> you gave me a dream to get here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I said, I'm staying. I made a commitment. <coughs> and I told Brother Marlowe, I said, I made up my mind. Oh, Again, I made up my mind. you got to make up your mind more than once. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you got to make yeah, up your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Go through it. Yeah. Every day you wake up, yeah. you go over here to this school and work with these children, and it's a wonderful school. It's yeah. uh, Yes. Nine years now I've been over there laboring. Yes. Sister Harris asked me one day to substitute. Yes. I haven't got out of it yet. <laughs> Lord, why? why? Why I'm over there. Must be something the Lord wants me to get. Get straight. It's a wonderful school. It's a wonderful thing. Bye, 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 bye. Bring the kids up. Bye, bye, bye. Keep that away from them. Yes, it is. The world out there. Amen. Because the world's not outside that door. Amen. The world's right here. It's not only outside that door, it's right here. Yes, uh, I can let those things take me away. Yes, or I can ask God to keep blessing me. Yes, and let me see it. Let me continue to see it. Yes. Let me continue to see what He wants me to do. Yes. I appreciate everybody today. Let's all praise the Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory. Glory, glory. Glory, glory. Glory, glory. 